rich, famous and fertile. That's Hollywood star Michael Douglas, who became a father again at the age of nearly 60. The same with Clint Eastwood, approaching 70. Charlie Chaplin had another child when he was 73. Swiss politician Franz Steiniger and Swiss TV mogul Roger Shavinsky are also aging fathers. It gives new perspective for the second part of your life. Many people of my age wonder what they should be doing with the rest of their lives. I think I know what I'll be doing. The latest high-profile example is Hans-Peter Danuser, former director of tourism in Samaritz. He's become a father at the age of 67, a much-coveted healthy baby. But this has raised some concerns, he says. There's a bit of a social stigma. People sometimes give me funny looks as I'm an older father. He's even received anonymous letters. Many men are not even aware that having a baby later in life poses a risk for the child. Although sperm cells are constantly being produced, it seems that older fathers pass on more genetic mutations to their children. A woman over 45 has a 5 to 6 percent chance of passing on Down syndrome. With a father over 45, there's a similar chance that he'll pass on a mental disability such as autism or schizophrenia. Anita Rauch, professor of genetic medicine at the University of Zurich, explains why these risks are rarely mentioned. I think it's for practical reasons. You can easily examine women for age-related risks before the birth. We have decades of experience with this, but we've only really recently become aware of the risks posed by an aging father, and you can't carry out prenatal tests on men. The optimal age for becoming a father is between 25 and 35. But journalist and author Philip Dreyer says socioeconomic factors may be just as important as genetic ones. He's written a book about it. I think there are many pluses to having children later. You have more time for the child. You may be a little more relaxed. When you're young, you think more about your career. Hans-Peter Denuser agrees. He has two older sons from a previous marriage. You have more time, experience, you're calmer. This all benefits the child. When I compare it to how it was with my two other sons, who are nearly 40, it was definitely not like that then. More good news for older dads. Their children are likely to live longer. Research has found that children of older men tend to have longer telomeres, a compound structure at the end of the chromosomes associated with longevity.